So today we have a really cool video. We are going to do three bases in five minutes. This is a latte art tutorial. So if you're into latte art and you're into coffee, maybe consider a subscribe, maybe consider a like, or at the very least a comment. But if you're just stopping by, a simple like on the video if you like it will suffice. Okay, I don't have much time with you guys, so I'm gonna make this really quick. This is three bases in five minutes. Let's go. Before we can do bases, we do have one prerequisite, and that is with all latte art, you need to have very good milk. If you don't have very good milk, I've already made a video on that It's right here. Base number one is going to be a drifting base. Now, this is probably the most ubiquitous with coffee pouring. Most people do a base somewhat based on this. And essentially all it is, is we are creating a current by moving the pitcher in a certain direction that takes away the lines that we wanna create. And then you can wiggle right behind that current. So here's how it goes. You're gonna integrate as you would normally. Uh, you can do circles for this, it doesn't really matter because in the end, we're gonna move our pitcher in the same stream to the back of the cup. And you're gonna use a pencils width stream as you gently let that milk drift and you come backwards down on the Z axis. Like if you slowed down time and you reversed a plane taking off, it's, it's kind of like that because it lands backwards. And as you're pouring, the milk is coming out of the pitcher and into the coffee and when it's too high, it sinks. But when you back down at just the right point, the foam can glide across the surface and you've created a current. So it's gonna glide to the back of the cup. And now all you have to do is wiggle your pitcher side to side. I like to ripple on the offbeat. So I like to push the pitcher, push the pitcher, push the pitcher, push the pitcher. That's a tongue twister. And this gives me just the right amount of waves so that I'm not staggering up my pitcher too much. It's push, 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 push. And when you see the base start to come up to the level of the pitcher's spout, that's when you can fill it back in. Before that, you're just gonna stay in the middle and wiggle. You've created the current and the more space you have between every single ripple, the more color you're gonna get in your base. Number two, and my personal favorite is the push base. I sometimes also call this the mushroom cloud base because it looks kind of like a mushroom is shooting out of your pitcher. It's a little more challenging. That's kind of why I like it. But essentially what we're doing is we are integrating just like we did before, but instead of the continuous stream going to the back of the cup, we're gonna stop the stream. We're going to land directly into the middle and we're gonna give the pitcher a slight push right as we land. But if you happen to land and hold it too long, well then you're actually gonna drag through it because the foam is gonna set in the milk. So you need to land and push kind of in the same motion. But once you push, you are doing that same thing that we did before, you're creating a current. And now same rules apply. You're gonna wiggle side to side, preferably on an offbeat, push, 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 push to get more color. You're gonna stay in the middle, creating that space between the push that you've made. And then as the base fills in, you can again zip it up by moving in and rippling at the same time. I really like push bases and drift bases because they get the most pull into the design. So you get the most color and twisting of layers, uh, which I think is beautiful. Number three, and by far the easiest, is just a simple base where you drift the pitcher right on the surface and you let the milk slightly drift away and then you fill it in. I don't really know what you'd call this. It's just the base with less color infusion throughout. If you want more color in the base, well then you need more space. So essentially if you're not drifting and you're not pushing, you're gonna get less color, but you can still get lines. Like, the lines are just you wiggling side to side. So if you want and you're starting out and you're a beginner, then you can land on the surface and let the milk slightly drift away. If it doesn't drift away, that's okay. You're in that spot and you can wiggle side to side and you're still gonna make these layers and you can still wrap into those layers or manipulate them and push them. They're just gonna be much more whited out and they're not gonna have as much color. Um, a way to avoid this is to tilt a little heavier towards the back of the cup. So if you go past the middle part of the cup and you land your pitcher, you're kind of past the point where if the pitcher is leaning like this and you tilt it, it's going to create that current. And you're already far back in the cup, so it's gonna pull to the back of the cup and fill in kind of like our other bases, except it's not gonna quite reach as high in the cup. So you might get kind of a short, stubby, almost heart-shaped base at the bottom, but maybe that's your preference. All right, guys, I really hope you liked this. That was three bases in five minutes. Gosh, I hope I made it five minutes. Only the edit will tell. But that's all I have for you today, you dirty scumbags. And uh, please, if you love me, like, subscribe, send it to Tinny, your family. Or if you really liked this, consider donating to our Patreon. It's brand new and it's in the description of the bio of this, not the bio, this is an Instagram.